The next report that we are going to discuss is ME2N. So this is purchase order by PO numbers. Okay. So you might be saying, okay, there's a purchase order number, but you know, uh, so you can search with the purchase order by PO number also. So that's, so here you can put, suppose I double click on it, one of this. And here, let me see, uh, here we have a PO number. So I can search with the PO number or we just created one purchase order for ourselves. This one, 474. And we can go here. We click on this and we'll go and we'll put purchase document number and it will create here. So if you know the PO number, so the, you might say, what's the use? I can go to ME23N and get everything out. I think there is a big use for, for use for this is you can easily find out how many how many POs are there uh, for a different plant. So if I put suppose one seven one seven one seven one zero plant. So and I try to find all the purchase order numbers for this. I can get it pretty easily from here. So as a as a list. And this is good because from here uh, I can even double click and go to that purchase order number. So it's pretty pretty neat and you can go through so many things. And these are standard, right? Let's be honest. You should be using standard stuff rather than you know build custom. So here you have so here you can see some of the five series. So five series is probably it's top though these are scheduling agreement also that's coming so here you can select suppose document type and here you can just put purchase order so if you want uh, so here you will not so this is NB okay so here all the purchase orders are coming so this is pretty useful and here you can put validity key date and all those things so pretty pretty nice because here you can put even the supplier name so let's see the, uh, oops, so this short text I don't know what is the short text will be used and what is the selection parameter this is something different let's see so selection parameter rule oh, this is nice see here you can see you can tell whether the goods receipt exist whether there is open goods receipt and all those things so this is pretty nice so if I click on open goods receipt and it gives me all the purchase order numbers so can I do other stuff also the selection parameter is really slick I like it uh, so here you can see open goods receipt w01 so that's the 101 and then you can see the other, other stuff like there is a return so if you see 102 that means that means there is a uh, there's some returns done so you might say how can I verify so if I double click on this you will see there is a one or two done somewhere okay so here is 101 and there is one or two so if I click here this is WE selection WE102 and there's open invoices okay open target quantity okay so open target open issue quantity oh that's good goods receipt exist okay open goods receipt so open goods receipt means there is something already available or what let's see we can see whether there is something so here we don't see any goods receipt done so i want to see this one which has a goods receipt done so if i double click on it see this is an open goods receipt available okay so this is something this is pretty useful and if I double click on this there is an open goods receipt so that means it's not invoiced okay so here this is one and let me check another parameter and uh, that would be rough GR open RFQs open invoice exists this one is pretty neat so invoice exists means 
these are invoices that has invoices these are bills which has invoices so if i double click on this they will have a 51 number so here it is so this is very nice this purchasing document by document number this layout is really nice what uh, there are other stuffs that you can still use so this this re really helps so what is the season so season is something no values okay so probably you have to set it up so suppliers material number so manufacturing industry any industry should use this this particular report so the report name is the report name is me2 it's pretty useful